we thank God, we thank God, we thank God. Yes, I know people have been afraid to come to the screen today because of the teaching of Wednesday. The teaching of Wednesday, I know many of you, you still asking questions. Is it the, is the Spirit of the Lord still in me or he has parted in me? I don't lie to you. Many churches all over the world, big mega churches, they can have crowd or Range Rover, whatever you call them, aeroplanes. The power of God departed on them. Many churches. It doesn't matter how crowd is the church. How much money the church is making doesn't make the power of God to remain in the church. And many individually, God worked on you very well from the beginning of your journey. But after the pride has entered you, you are forcing yourself. The Spirit of the Lord is no longer in you. Is where our major trouble is. Is where our major challenge is. How can we maintain? I send you those who have a chance to have our WhatsApp. I send you the teaching of Wednesday. Uh, many of us, is not God cannot uh, change our life or He cannot maintain our life. But the challenge is the time when we were struggling our life was difficult challenges many of us were so keen committed to God but it came a time when Things become a little bit smooth. That particular time, many of us will begin to relax. I'll be repeating to you every day. When you have nothing, you don't have enemies. You have noticed that? When you have nothing, you don't have enemies. But when you begin to grow higher, even your own wife wants to pull you down. Even your husband wants to pull you down. Though, this is the way you have to learn from there. Though, it's not easy. In fact, better to don't go higher. To walk with me like a... Because I have different people come here. Like the man that was uh, working on our generator. I was busy. Busy with the doctor, he followed where I was. He said to me, Prophet, you know I'm following you. I said, No. Our bishop is driving Range Rover. But that Range Rover is us who put money together to buy the Range Rover for him. But one thing is giving me trouble. Right now I'm talking about. Bishop does not have electricity in the house. Was owing 150,000 150, electricity. They cut the electricity. No water, no electricity. But when they called us to begin to put money together, I said to them, Ah, do you know I go to one place, always go and fix the generator. As this place, you know, I know the place can take you. He said to them, I want you to go with me there. I want you to be, go and learn to become pastors. That man, the level is. But I don't drive a Range Rover, I don't drive any big car, he's driving the old car. And uh, I mean, uh, when you see him, you don't believe, even so you don't believe he's the one who's the uh, owner of the place. What, 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 what. But I've, talk, I've been talking every day with his members. I never heard the member say this man is asking money to do this work. I was thinking of the member putting money together for him can do all this work. 
I said to him, because I know the name of the church before in Botswana. I said to him, I told your church that your God is poor. I said, your God is poor. How I say them to other people, because I saw how much they went to the bank and borrow to build a church. The man shake his head and say, I'll be coming here to do your work here. But mm -mm. I'll be asking questions. If could you could be in the status that a bishop had, how could be slave to bring money every day? I said to him, I don't want to buy poverty. I know my friend Kamo stay uh, in Pakalan, but I don't want to be poor like her. It doesn't matter where you stay. <laughs> I don't want to contaminate with poverty because I've been in poverty before. I know how poverty it is. Since I've been in poverty before, I don't want to go back to poverty. Though to maintain to go back to poverty, don't, don't take money from poor people. Can be the doctor come, but I don't know he's poor. The poverty is not on the money, on the mindset. I don't want to take, I don't want to take money from poor, poor people that have become a contaminated poor, poverty. That is very important to understand. But if someone he say, I want to bless you like what happened to my friend uh, water fiber. He decided to say, oh, you're looking for ambulance. He bought ambulance. And next time I say, uh, I saw your car is old. I want to buy for you a car. Yes. I want to buy, I say, yeah, him, sir. But what I do to give to get blessed? You see the maize, you see the beans, the maize, the, the potatoes. The money that you give it to me to buy a new car, I bought uh, a tractor and give me another money. I had a tractor and pull buy all the farming equipment. The money you give it to me from yourself, say you give me the money. You see how I did the money? I did not buy the Range Rover. I bought a tractor and all farming equipment that I bought. And now. That shows your money is going to stay years and years. Now, I brought the beans. I brought the potatoes. I brought the maize this year. And I planted again potatoes. Though that shows your money will continue to multiply. I don't want to, I don't want to compete with Gage. Gage is old man. He want to get big cars quickly because I don't know how many years left him. But me, I still have, I do not even reach my half year because I'm going to 120 years like Moses. But I'm not in the hurry. Even when I reach 90, I can still get the Range Rover. Though I'm not in the hurry. Though that you see, look, I did not ask him money. He himself, God touched him to give me money. Is that? The ratio, that money is not poor because the ambulance is there. And, uh, oh, because the doctor Kobe asked me, hey, why you get the, the, why you get the, the non the tractor? Because the tractor is half or more than half a million. Uh, why get the equipment? I say, this is the man who give me the money. I did not ask him. Though, it's only risk. He give me the money. Though, you understand, that is no longer poverty. This is a school. Yeah is a school. If we meet this kind of school, I don't know where we're going to get this opportunity. I showed you. Though, if God wants to bless me, will touch the Miko, that the Miko, that five million we have, give two million to the prophet. He will give. Though, you see, this is the way I will live. Though, I, 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 I cannot put myself in the shoes to go back where I'm coming from.
But you see, are we preaching about their heart? Their heart has a great role to play. Their heart has a great role to play. God showed me many people in the church could reach me a billionaire. But the problem is the poverty is in the mentality. They can buy houses to other churches they go. They can buy cars to other churches they go. But when they reach here, even one rent is still like a, <laughs> a big debate. There's still a debate. Even to give one rent is still like a, uh, yeah, maybe if I give him a round rent, he's going to eat the, my money. What, what? Oh, what is your money? It's a change, that one. What is your money? <laughs> what is your money? When you will never even see a million, you save money. God showed me many people here can be very far, but they don't want to risk. What we are seeing today in WCC, that the risk from the beginning. We get a small fish, we take it back to the water. We get a small fish, we take it back to the water. Get a small fish, we take it back to the water. Is what is here accumulating day after day. Day after day. I tell him, Peter, he was traveling, I said to him, by Monday come, they are going to see all the equipment of the hospital. They are going to, the truck is coming to offload here, brand new. Monday, come and see. And they ask how much. The, the, the way you people could be learning. It is a school. This is a school. It's a school. So they don't need the money. This is a school. This is a school. One ask uh, my bishop, Bishop Nkosi, are they beginning to copy this? Ask her how God is remembering them. How God is remembering them. The God is a God of, I mean, is looking for people that can use. But how many people are willing to become part of this? I mean, we hear people, oh, you stolen a million. It's, oh, the government is stolen a million, stolen a million. But Christians, they don't have even one million. Why? The revelation is not there. The day you caught the right revelation, you are going to see anything that I say, you speak, it happen. You touch, it come alive. You speak, it happen. You touch, it come alive. Look, even the, I think they still, they, they were still busy. WCC Alpha, see, they're busy. They're waking, still waking. And you don't know what we are doing. So this is a way I've been repeating for so many years that God is looking for people that he can use for his glory. But the problem is people think when they get a small fish is enough for their life. No! There's a lot God has unfolded for you too much. <laughs> Rachel, too much that God has unfolded for you. But the problem is the level of understanding has a great role to play. It's what is giving us trouble. We want just to make a life today. But the life is not only today. Life is tomorrow. Though whatever you are going to harvest tomorrow, you make it today. Look now. It's by December as planting maize. But you can see now I'm holding maize. Now I'm about to sell maize. If you are really jealous of me, it's own problem. 
where, you, where she was when I was planting. Now that's the problem. People when the time of waking, they're not there. By the time of harvest, everybody wants to be there. No. You must be part of the planting. Part of, part of the watering. And it's easy for you to be part of harvesting. No one is going to ask you, who are you? Though God is not a mockery. Whatever you sow, you shall reap. That's God. You cannot be folding God, uh, God bless me, God bless me, God bless me, God bless me. Ah, that God was a God of Moses. But God of Joshua, you must work. And we are no longer in God of Moses because we are another side of the river. We are in the promised land. That's all. You must work. The Brothers and sisters, are we repeating everybody every day to you that God is looking for people that he can use for his glory? And they don't look for people who are educated, they don't look for people who are handsome, they don't look for people who have connection, they don't need people that have money. He's only looking for people who has availed their heart for him. A small fish can become big as long as God give him life. Annick, if you know, because the French lady say, Petit poisson deviendra grand pour vie que Dieu le prête vie. Though a small fish can become big as long as God give him a life. Your problem, not the poverty that we have today. Your problem, God, let me see what you had for me yesterday. This is the way. He's a French human. He's no longer an English human. Do you understand what I mean? Though the problem is, you don't fight. You don't go in the hurry. Take your space by doing the assignment. Your homework, you do it slowly and surely. I know it takes time. I know it takes time. Like right now, let me check with the Apostle uh, uh, Stefan. Who, when he has been here taking the medication for 30 years, but when he came here, our medical team, the doctor, changed the treatment. Now I think it's a, about a week, about to reach a week since we went to England. Yeah. Apostle, good morning. Good morning, Prophet. Yeah. yeah. How are you doing in England? Yeah, I'm doing fine. I'm doing great. Oh. You still fine? Yeah, I'm still fine, yeah. Although the, the anointed water treatment is working. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's working, yeah, it's working. Yeah. It's still working? Yeah, it's still working, yeah. Uh, how many times have you eaten the beans now? Um, well, uh, I used uh, to I prepare a lot, just I put some in the fridge. Yes. Um, so I'm taking it small, small. Then I, I combine it with rice. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Aretha, the heart is beating. <laughs> Do you become your step food now? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Do you become your step food that you only yeah. cook a new rice, just take from the fridge, you warm a little bit yes. and mix, and the, the day move. Oh, that's great. Yes. Oh, that, oh, I remember that the first food you ate when you came here. is yeah. the beans and the rice. The beans and rice, yes. <laughs> they still continue to eat when we removed here.
The Utango, 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 Utango. Can, can you understand? 30 years, how much you have spent for buying this medication? So, look, he decided to come like a, for him now, I become like a history. I say, oh. In fact, the day he was going, oh, prophet, I've done a week. Uh, uh, the day has gone so fast like this. I remember I was sitting with him, he said, ah, prophet, the day I just finished like this, I'm going, I say, bye-bye. <laughs> no, it's, a, it's the decision to make to change your situation. But when you begin to calculate, the devil gets advantage. Though it's where I'm trying to explain to the people. But where you get nothing, you are flocking. You are rushing. But where you can get a solution, that heaviness, heaviness, that heaviness, though is where our major trouble is is where our major trouble is. Believe me, I was talking one day of my boy, Justin. I said, Justin, you know, God can bless you abundantly. But the problem is, you calculate. You don't want, you don't want to, to release. You want to get more. But to God, you can be releasing, releasing, rele like there's nothing going on. By the day God is going to hit you back, ah, though you begin to wonder, is it me? Is how God works. Is how God works. When I want to do the farming, I do not know where I'm going to get a tractor. I don't want to go to get a seed. I do not know. But I knew God was going to provide. Suddenly God bring, brought water. He said, I'm buying for you a brand new car. I said, thank you. I said to him, I don't need a car because my shoes are dirty. If I buy a new car with a dirty shoes, the car is going to be dirty. Let me buy a tractor because the tractor we can go with the dirty shoes. Though the revelation has a great role to play. I'm not going to compete with Muloy. Come lawyer and I is thinking to buy a limousine. It's okay. It, to please his wife. But me, my aim, how can I help two people from their life? Though this is the way our vision is. Whatever that we are cultivating physically has no future. But whatever that you do in the spirit, it all the things goes, God review in time that is say God can remember you. But not by folding hand, by doing your homework daily. Like I said to you, when King Saul became a king. From the beginning, he was very humble. He was remembering that God put him there. But as time went on, when I amassed the wealth, King Saul forgave that is God put him there. Many of us were like that. Many of us. Before your life was very smooth. Easy. Everything you touch. Come alive. But this day even one who push. <laughs> Pray. Today even when you push. Nothing. But before. When you just. I mean, when you speak. You can see. I mean. Uh, every door is opening. But as time goes on now, you can see, even when you push, you begin to remember that there are some witches in Ghana came to wish you in, in Germany. But you don't understand. The Bible says, as the king saw forgetting God, God himself, 
he removed his spirit. The spirit of God was removed from her, him and he replaced the evil spirit to torment him. And many of you, you never heard this secret. You heard it from Wednesday. That God can still put an evil spirit on you to torment you. Many people do not know. Francis, do you know about it? That God can remove the, his spirit on you and replace the evil spirit to torment you. You think, oh, the, the follower from Cameroon, uh, somebody sent a spell from Cameroon to fo follow in France. No! God himself can see do it. The same way he allowed the devil to test Job. The same way Joseph was tested. I mean, in many ways, God showed himself that is him. Though that you see, we must understand that no one can make it unless God allowed him. I said to you, Many presidents all over the world, many kings all over the world. The glory of God departed from them. That you see, they have trouble, big trouble. They're not sleeping. It's because the evil spirit tormenting them. I said to you on Wednesday, there's no president can become president unless God allowed him to become president. Even Bishop in course want to be a president. Everyone wants to be a president. I mean, just for one day, I sit that chair as a president one day. Even I'll be released the following day, but at least one day I was a president. I remain in record. Though that shows, if you, you are in that chair, it's not you went there for yourself. No. It's not by your party. It's not by your clever. Even the people from your party are fighting to take uh, that position. But for you, by God's grace, you get the position. You must know it's only God has taken you to that level. They call it elevation. God elevated you to that rank as authority. It's where many of us don't understand. And when we miss that you see, all the plan that you had when you are going to the throne, all this plan, cannot materialize is because the evil spirit is the one tormenting you. Though you can be a bishop but the power of God has run away from you. You can have crowd, people follow you but the power of God is no longer there. And many of us are like that. Look, when you start a business, just a small peanut to sell. People, I mean, people be asking, there's no peanut, there's no peanut, there's no peanut. But now, no one will buy one packet of peanut. It's because the pride has entered. The world begin to remember that the level that we're in only God allowed us to be there. And only him can come to take us higher or maintain the level. We must maintain the relationship. We must maintain the relationship. We must hold on. Because the challenges ahead are very difficult than what we faced yesterday. The journey. Look. Like I said to you before, you are flocking churches because you see the numbers. You go there, you buy cars, you buy houses. You can go to the church with number, but the power of God is no longer there. It's the evil spirit are there. It's not about the number. It's not about the number. Is about who is leading that person. What spirit is in him is a great role. 
to understand. Because the Spirit of the Lord is Him. In Him. When He speak, it happen. When He touch, it come alive. We don't need to be coming, oh, we need a building fund. You know, to be coming, we need uh, this. You need, no. All these plans, if God has employed you, he will provide. If God wants to take you to the top, he will make a way. Other people can die, other people can resign, other people can be moved away for you to reach there. This is the way I know. The God that I save. When the right time come, like what happened to David, when the right time come, God gave him the power to kill Goliath. And what happened? You don't understand, guys, how God operates. God knew how David had to enter uh, Saul Palace. His way. By bringing Goliath and David killed Goliath and Saul before, because they decree, he said, The one who killed Goliath, I'll give him my daughter. Though it's already written on the decree, cannot change. Anybody can be gay, can be who's that to kill Goliath, they give him the daughter. Though that shows he was not all gay, he's married to Cecilia. No, that none of his business. His business was anybody who killed. Goliath, I take my daughter, give it to him. Even the bishop, who is a married bishop, no way. If you kill Goliath, uh, they give you a fresh lady in the palace. I mean, that was a decree made by the king himself. Though there's no way. Oh, uh, I love my wife, but if you kill Goliath, automatically you become a son in law to the king. Though you go to the palace. That was a decree written. And he did not know who's going to kill Goliath. Museki, the right shows if the one could kill Goliath, you could be having two wives. One is a princess, and one is a, from, a, a, from Kalanga. Though that could be. I don't know who you could leave. Could control both of them? I don't know. But that was a principle. If you kill Goliath, automatically they give you a wife. Is a daughter to. Uh, King Saul. And you see how God made all this plan. He empowered David to go and kill Goliath. And it was opportune for David, who will never be educated like me, to go and learn how to become a king. Because from that day he killed, they take him to like they wash him, you know how the, like the car wash. Because they're smelling farm like me. They take him like a car wash. They wash him with all soaps that they can to remove that smelling from the farm. And after that, he's be given a, a fresh lady. A princess. You see how God works? The, uh, straight from the farm. Straight away to the palace. And there uh, is where you want to learn to become a king. This God, I mean, Justin, any question for you? Look how God operate. It's, I mean, look. I don't know how you read the Bible, but from my understanding, how, what could have allowed David to reach the palace? Though even Peter Lehabi, if the one could kill Goliath, automatically, they give him the daughter of the king. Though, no man could be making noise because now he's married to a princess. Do you understand what I'm trying to explain here? Is what God can do. And you cannot stop that plan of God. Somebody just from the farm, no one believed that one day this David can become to stay in the palace. And from the palace, he became a king. What about the story of Moses? How rich the palace. The mother, God gave the idea, put the basket of the child 
where the daughter of king came and bath. And that particular time when he came, God pinched the baby to cry. And he give attention. I was the move. Give attention to the princess to go alone. She went alone. Check which baby is crying. Until he discovered and he called the people. Ah, there's a baby here. And a beautiful baby. I said from today this baby belongs to me. Now, I want to shock you again. They are looking for a mother who wants to breastfeed the baby. They went and they fall to the mother of uh, Moses. No one knew that that child belonged to this mother. And they bring the mother to Moses to come and raise Moses. How about any question? <laughs> Kuluman, any question? Do you, I mean, I don't know how you think with God. You don't understand. Maybe all these things I never tell you before to understand what God does. The God does his things in accurate. How come that particular time the baby must be there, he must cry, and the daughter of the king go there and he fell in love with the baby. This is my baby. And this girl never had a child before. He took the baby. They said, oh, since me, I don't have a child. There's a mother, because they're thinking that Moses was dead. Because they killed all the children of that time. And they said, whose mother delivered this? And oh, is uh, the mother of Moses. I said, okay. Uh, since the child died, let her bring him in to breastfeed this child. But they did not know that uh, Moses was raised by his own mother at the palace. Dina Matake, any question? They don't understand. I don't know what kind of God you worship. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what kind of God you worship. But the God that I worship is a God that makes things accurate. So, I mean, he planned it according to when even may I told you I don't need to have money when you look all my account empty but when the matter arise God will touch Lorette Chichele to give me money like it or not this is the way God works this is the way God works the God of perfection he does things in the right time at the right place but why we are not getting it is because we are not at the right place at the right time. Our hearts are so distracted, confused, focusing on perishable. Like my friend Bishop Nkosi said, I want to open an office in town. To what? One on one. Hey, could be a dead man today. Your wife could run away from you. There is God himself. He, I mean, look. The illustration I've given you how God does things. How Moses was be raised by his own mother. Was not to be killed. How David entered the palace. How Joseph became a prime minister. How Mordecai become a prime minister who somebody never go to school from the gate straight to the throne. The God must create something that will draw attention. If the president, the prime minister of Australia want to know uh, uh, Emmanuel, God will create a situation. And you can see even the prime minister can come to your house. No, you don't understand how God will operate. His way we are missing. His way we are missing. It doesn't mean you must have connections. It doesn't mean you must be educated. It doesn't mean that you must have money. No! 
If you want him to be known, he can do it. I became popular in the land of Botswana. As God gave us a grace to build a church, God said to me, I must go on television. Ma Fichani is a witness. And I went and asked a quotation. 16,500 US dollars a month. I said, hey. I tried to call partners in the church and all over. I saw people only pay the partnership one month. The following months, nothing. God said to me, go on television. I said to myself, how am I going to make it? Those have calculated, calculated, 16,500 US dollars a month. You see why I don't have a, a mansion in Botswana? And I go ahead. I started. The same way like what happened. That house of my friend leader was renting. I go ahead. I start the television. And remember. We only have one television in Botswana at that time. Only BTV. And we become more popular. Our television people was watching so much than the government television. One day people came to my office. I said, I came to see you. I said, what happened? Close the television. Sir. Uh -uh. <laughs> Am I doing the politics? Uh, have you seen that, uh, that television were playing anything for politics? Oh no. But what is your problem? I said to them, okay. Come. They went to the studio. They don't find anything. Because our television was me managing in the United Kingdom. What to do? We upload the file. Our video, you upload it to the United Kingdom. And the United Kingdom is the one who put it on A. Now, what are you going to close? Eh? Mr. Dimek, what are you going to close? Because there's nothing there. We're not, we not broadcasting. I say, I say, I think you're very confused. We're not broadcasting here. How you know that this computer is sending file in the United Kingdom? I said to them, go and write a letter. Until today, the letter never arrived. <laughs> For you could be shaking, I said to them, go and write a letter. You come physical. I want you to write official letter. I will respond to you. But as you come physically, I have no response to give it to you. And I'm not closing. That is even the came and say, close the church. They think when they close the church, they say, no. It's not about the church. It's about the person himself. In fact, what happened to Jesus? After killing him, the power became worse. Because it's not about the body. It's about the spirit that is invested in human beings. So that I'll be telling you that if God want Mrs. K to reach Mwanawasa today by force God to create a situation and Mwanawasa is going to come to your house. Even Munangabwa, he cannot sleep until he look for you. Though you don't understand the power of God, we minimize the power of God. Is where we don't understand who is God in our life. Look at the example I've given you. How God created situations. How David reached the palace. How Joseph reached the palace. How Moses reached the palace? Do you think you cannot reach the palace? 
does foreign in the land of Botswana. But the president, my friend, the president came, was referring people to me. Look. How many days, because even Mr. Kuluman, that is his brother, how many times he refer people to him? <laughs> even Moses, he said, oh, come from Tokweng. How many days they refer uh, people to the president, come and refer people to him? No, the problem is, you don't understand what God is. I'll be called by the president official to the state house. That is a small, I mean, small official. I was being invited. When Kuluman was being invited to the state house. And how I left the certificate of appreciation followed me. He sent a delegation from the, st from the office of the president to come and round over the certificate of appreciation. Okay, how many of you, Bachwana, Anna, you have that certificate? Let me ask. is about what God can do in your life. That certificate of appreciation, any country I go, when I show them a certificate of appreciation, they will value me. They say, really? I mean, something that can remain in my life, I can be sure. Do you understand what I'm talking about here? Dr. Kombe must understand what I'm talking about here. If God wants to do it, you can... I mean, what happened to Mordecai? Mordecai, the king could not sleep until he have to remember Mordecai. Do you don't understand? I think we are thinking God like your husband, like your wife, like your children. Your... No! God is not like that. God is the one who made you to be in the existence. And he's the one who can take you where you can be. But the problem is we have missed the opportunity many times. Because our focus. The certificate is there. Those, those can read, read. All right, I think your eyes can see. It's a certificate. After reading, how many of you have that kind of certificate in your house? Rex. Huh? Anna. <laughs> any, any, how many of you have this certificate? But this country, guys, I was a refugee. I was a beggar. I did not have even any cent, not even any money to pay transport in the same country. You have seen? You have seen? And this president is not a black president. This is a white president. Though a white, when he writes something like this, he has the conviction to write that one. But you see the history. I was a beggar in this country. A beggar. 
I don't even have one one dollar to pay a transport for myself. Though every time when I bring here a message to preach you, it's not what I call it in the street. No, I have evidence what God can do. Is the heart. The devil can try to hide, but this certificate is still giving me a relevant title in the country of Botswana. Because that man, when he wrote that one, was the, I mean, the head of the state. I'm saying, what I'm trying to say, whatever happened in the Old Testament is still happening in the New Testament. It's still happening today. But the problem is the focus. The focus. As we had a direct line, the president will call my office. He said, I'm going for a quarter meeting. What do you have? Do you have wheelchairs? Do you have bulanga? Do you have we say, no, we have wheelchair, we have this. They'll come and pick. I'm just telling you, if God wants to change your life, He can. No one can stop you because you create a situation. You create a situation. That was the delegation. After I invited him to the state house, I went there. And after that, he said to me, okay, I'll send you something. I did not know. Just a week, I saw a delegation. If I was not there, they said, oh, the prophet is not there. They found him, Paul, my secretary, said, please, who come from the president, the envelope, the, I mean, every the file, I still have them. They say, is the president sent us to come and deliver? I'm giving you something that can put in your mindset. I give a story of Joseph. I give a story of David. I give a story of Mordecai. I give the story of Moses. Just, just take it. I can still push Daniel. I can still push Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. You can see how these people reach in the throne. How God created A story just to push you to that level. Even here in South Africa, I'm seeing the level of a village, but there'll be a day. Who knows? That I didn't I don't need a connection. Because I save a living God. When you serve a living God, you must expect anything, any time. When the right time comes, no one can stop you to become who you want to become. We want to pray. If you are not serious for God from today, you must become serious. Because it's not about education, it's not about your connection. It's not about your money. It's not about what? If God wants to take you what wants to take you, there's no power in this world can stop you. Never. That I know. No one took me to, to come and to present me. But God himself made a way. Who want to pray? Who want to pray? I don't know what kind of God you save. I don't know. I don't know what kind of God you save. But the living God that I see is a God of miracle. Is a God of surprise. We want to pray. 
We want to pray. We want to pray. Your heart has a great role to play. Your heart has a great role to play. The power. The power. You speak, it happens. You touch, you come alive. You don't need a connection. You need the power. The power that brings change. That only you need. You need the power. As long as that power begins to minister to you, you see the divine connection be released. We want to pray. I'll like be telling every day that the God that has saved is not your God that is sleeping. Is not your God that is poor. My God that I save is able. I call him is able. I call him unlimited. I call him unstoppable. That the God that I save. And those who are following him, they will never put, be put to shame, even the last minute. Look, we had a tab year of COVID time. We have few patients had COVID in this place, in this hospital. The power of God. When God said, I'm a beautiful hospital, you don't know why. If you are clever, you could be following me. I'm not a medical doctor. I don't know anything. But you are asked God, why you told this man to build a hospital? What, what is behind that? Because God will make sure to take the rule and regulation of the world that can be able to use his way to achieve what you want to achieve. Mr. Demeco, can you hear me? God cannot break the law of this world. He will use it. He will use it. But behind that, he had a great plan to achieve. But because people are blind, <laughs> people are blind, they don't see. Look, we started in South Africa. Now we're in Botswana. Where do you think God can take me us again? We don't know. Maybe next time we're going to be in Namibia. He has a plan. For you could be asked a question. You're not a medical doctor. You're not a nurse. You're not anything. You're not in the field. We're asking questions. How can I go for a hospital? Go say, go to Obutuana to read a hospital. I can ask you. I mean, but for us, because we understand. Is using, is using that way to fulfill something greater. Can shock the world. He used the battle, Goliath, to shock the people. And uh, as Samuel already anointed the small boy David. That particular day, the father had to send Jesse to send David to the battle to drop the food. Is where David went to meet with Goliath. And when he told someone, the officer, the brother had beaten him there, but the officer went running and said, Master, Master, King, there's a boy. But that boy, the story told me, he shook me. That boy can tear a lion apart, yeah? running after a lion. Yeah? Yeah? The king of Shuka said, bring the boy. The boy went to say, ah, a small boy, get my clothes to wear it. He tried to walk. I said, oh, not by might, not by power, by the spirit of the Lord. He said, king, with all the respect, 
I don't need this. Doctor Kwame, can you hear me? He said, I don't need this. I need the power to go and confront Goliath. Is where we are missing. We are trying to use our intellectual, we are trying to use our force, our ability, what, that we are failing. But when David said, I'm going to use the spirit of the Lord that invested in me. That was a journey to the palace. We want to pray. <laughs> you don't need to be known by anybody. You don't need a connection. Only what you need is God's spirit be continue to rest upon you. When God's spirit be to rest, look at me. I stay in the farm. I don't go anywhere. My friend Michael is here. I don't go anywhere. I stay here from morning until evening. When I wake up to the farm and go back, I go to sleep from the farm. I don't need connection. I don't request any favor to human being. As the power will come to rest upon you, you will attract Goliath. And you are able to hit Goliath. And the whole environment will notice who you are. It's what you need, Francis. Is the power, not connection. You need the power. You need the power. Even when you're in the farm, even when in the prisons, even when at the gate, they'll come and look for you because of that power that God has invested in you. We want to pray. We want to pray. We thank you, Lord, for your grace, for your love, for your peace, for your joy. Only you that I trust, no one else. I believe if I continue to hold upon you, regardless how long it takes, you will show yourself mighty. Men can deceive, but God never deceive. Whatever you promise always come to pass. As you went and anointed a young man in the forest. But as you appointed him to become a king. Even after being appointed as a king. You have to go back to the forest. Until at the appointed time came. You raise up Goliath. And you give him the power. To eliminate Goliath and automatically was connected to the palace. Father, why ye? You know our heart. You know that we are not going to end ye. You know where is our destiny. If you made that one day must be in the palace. Father, there's no negative power that can stop us to reach because you're already appointed. Anybody here, Lord, and those are watching us in any telecast, in any medium, that are appointed to become who we want to become, Father, Lord, there's no power, there's no negative power that can top them in that journey. You will show yourself mighty. You will show yourself mighty. To break all the yoke of bandage. To break all the barrier. That your people. 
must become who you want them to become. Your people must reach who they wanted to reach. Your people must achieve what you want them to achieve for your glory. It's 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 for your glory. Yes, Lord. Your name was glorified in the name of Moses. Your name was glorified in the name of Mordecai. Your name was glorified in the name of Joseph. Your name was glorified in the name of Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. Your name was glorified in the name of Daniel. Let your name be glorified on your people who are living in this generation. Let your name begin to glorify. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ on earth. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit, take control. Any Spirit of God that be taken away from your people, let be released right now. Let be released right now. Let be released right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ on earth. Anyway, They've taken away your spirit that have given to your people to fulfill your mission, to reach their destiny. If there any negative power that is involved on it, that negative power be crushed right now. I say be crushed right now. Be crushed right now. Be crushed right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father. Release the power of sound mind. Release the power of sound mind. Release that power of sound mind. Release that power of sound mind. Yes, Lord. Release that power. Release that power. Release that power. Release that power of sound mind. Yes, Lord. You know all those who have appointed. Regardless where they are in the forest. Regardless are the cleaner today. Regardless of struggling in school today. Regardless of struggling to get the bread today. But as you have anointed them to become who they want to become, there's no negative power can stop them. As I crush that spirit. I crush that spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I crush that spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I crush that spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I crush that spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for the power that you have invested in me and is ready to be transferred to each everyone who is willing to receive. Because it's free. It is free. It is free. It is free. It is free to those who are willing to touch. 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 You cannot touch it physically. It will only be released spiritually. Touch that power. Gage. Hold it for you. Yes, Lord. Touch that power. Yes, Lord. Yes. It's be released. It's be released. It's be released. It's be released. Is 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 it touch? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, it's moving. It's moving all over the world. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. The power is moving all over the world. The power is moving all over the world. It's moving all over the world. It's moving. If you are ready, if you are ready, touch. Yes, Lord. The power is be released. Is be released. 
This time not a barrier, Margaret. Wherever you are, this time not a barrier. This time not a barrier. This time not a barrier. This is this a God spirit. There's no power can stop you to reach whatever way you want to reach. Only you can stop it because of a negative power. But if you are available yourself to God's spirit, that spirit can enter you now. Can reach upon you now. Can reach you now. Can enter you now. Can enter you now. The spirit that heals. The spirit that delivers. The spirit that saves. The spirit that blesses. The spirit that opens doors where there is no know. The spirit brings change. That spirit is reaching you now. Is reaching each everyone right now, wherever you are. This time, not a barrier. Switch off your mind and receive the Spirit. Let the Spirit of the Lord enter. Give the space for the Spirit of the Lord to enter. Empty, empty, empty your heart. Give the space of the Spirit of the Lord to enter. Give the space. Any greater space that the Spirit of the Lord to enter. The Spirit of the Lord to enter. To reach you. To reach you, 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 to reach you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for your power has been distributed to all those who are ready for it. I say to you, it's not a feeling. It's not a feeling. It's not a feeling. It's a believing. It's not a feeling, it's a believing. It's not a feeling, it's a believing. It's not a feeling, it's a believing. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father. Holy Spirit, take control on the life of your people. Take control. Take control. Take control. Take control. Take control. In Jesus' name we pray. Those who believe that the power of God has reached them, let me hear you. Amen. If that power has reached you, let me hear you. Amen. Let me hear you. Amen. Thank you. 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 The power has reached you. I said the power has reached you. I know I can see Francis is looking for the power. He's looking for the power all his house. I said the power has reached you. I see Francis is looking for the power. I said the power has reached you. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a feeling. It's believing. Lydia, the power has reached you. It's not a feeling. It's believing. <laughs> it's not human being, see it physical. No. It's believing. It's not a feeling. It's believing. When you want to feel, you cannot feel it. Because it's not, it's not a physical thing. It's a spiritual thing. It's not a, it's not a feeling. It's a believing. If you believe that the power is already in you, you know you have the power. Now, how you exercise the power? You speak. It happens. You touch. It comes alive. That only you, you can know if you have that power. You speak. It happened. You touch, it come alive. Are you ready to exercise? Robot, are you ready to exercise? You speak, it happened. You touch, it come alive. <laughs> now Omar is asking, how am I going to speak? Are you sure when I speak it's going to happen? <laughs> it's where we have challenge. The challenge is you ask questions. How am I going to do it? None of your business. None of your business. You just speak. And uh, trust that it's going to happen. When you see his day, touch! 
and believe is going to come alive. <laughs> I know there's a lot of work to do, but we'll continue to be patient with you. <laughs>